going to start on the fourth fret of your D string. And that's an F sharp. We're going to do a lot of F sharp minor pentatonic stuff here. So we'll start here. We're going to jump over to the fourth fret of the G and give that a full bend. Good. So. We're going to give it another bend. But we're going to kind of rubber band this bend. So once you bend this, you're going to let it fall right back. And we're going to pull off to the second fret of your G. Okay. So. Just like that. And then we're going to go right back to the F sharp, and we're going to give that a little bend. And right back. So, the first little phrase we have. the second part now this lick is really going to a next uh, pentatonic pattern you have but we're just going to take the fourth fret of your G all right we're going to slide out to the six hit that five of the B and then we're going to hit the seven of the B all right now once we hit the seven of the B we're going to do a quick little uh, pull off here Pull off and hammer. Pull off, hammer. Then we're going to jump to the fifth fret of your high E and then to the seventh fret, back to the seventh fret of your B. So the whole lick we have this slowly. to the fourth fret of that D string again. So now this is gonna be really similar to the first lick we had, but we're gonna go right there on that fourth fret of the D. We're gonna jump to the fourth fret of the G string. Now th this next lick is gonna be really similar to the first lick we had, but it's kind of like a variation of it. We're gonna go back to the fourth fret of the D. And then we're going to jump to the fourth fret of the B, uh, f to the fourth fret of the G string. So, and so we have that same kind of pull off. We're going to let that bend come down. We're going to pull off to the second fret, and we're going to kind of give it two quick bends there of the whole step. Okay, so. Okay, so for, for the next lick, we're going to jump up to the uh, ninth fret of your G. I'm going to play the ninth fret of the G and the ninth fret of the E. Kind of back and forth there. So we're going to slide up to it. We're going to slide right up to it. Just like that. And then we're going to go back to the ninth of the high E. Give that a little bend. Good, that's gonna be a half step in. And then we're gonna go to the 10th fret of the B. This is gonna be a full bend. So. One more time. Great. Now, once we have that bend on the 10 of the B, we're going to let it go and just play the regular 10 and then go right to the 9. So, so far together with this lick. hammer pull right so we're gonna keep going back and forth on that nine and tenth fret of the B string just 
just like that. All right, so one pick stroke. And then we're gonna go right to the ninth fret of your G. We're gonna pick that once, pick it again, and give it a full step bend, and slowly release it. So. Like that. So let's put this whole lick together. Now for the next lick, we're actually going to be in a, a, really the same spot we started. We're just going to go up a whole octave. So we're going to start right here on the 16th fret of your D string. But that 16th fret is also an F sharp. It's just an octave up. So it's kind of like we're using the same pattern, but up an octave. So we're going to slide up to that 16 right there. And then we're going to play 16D, 14G, and then the 14B. This is actually an arpeggio of the F sharp minor chord. Right, so we got F sharp, we're playing the A and the C sharp. Now we're going to play the uh, uh, 15th, uh, 17th fret of your B string. So, and we're going to give that a full bend. Good. Now we're going to catch the pinky right behind and catch that 15th, uh, 17th fret, I'm sorry, of the high E. And come right back. So keep that bend up. Right? Then we come right back. Another bend. Good. Now we're just going to play the 17th of the B and go to the 16th of the G and give that a full bend. So. Good. Now. We're going to stay right here on the 16 of the G for just a sec. And he's gonna kinda overextend this bend, almost like a step and a half bend, and then a couple more full bends. Right, and it's kinda like a vocal inflection thing, so. catch this 17 of the B, right? We're going to pick that twice, come right back to that 16 of the G, right? We're going to give that a bend and a release, then right to the 14 of the G, and then to the 16 of the D, right where we started here. Awesome. So all that together. Good. The next lick, we're going to go right to the 14 of the B. And we're going to jump from the 14 of the B to that 17 of your high E. We're gonna give that 17 a full bend, and then just pick it right back at 17. Good. Then we're gonna go right to the 17 of the B and give that a full bend. And now we're just gonna play the 17 by itself, right? And we're gonna go to the from the 17 right there. We're gonna go to the 16 of the G. We're gonna give that a small bend. And then we're just gonna pull off to the 14. 
Good. We're going to repeat that pull off. And then we're going to add a bend. So we're bending right there, that 16 G. Good. Now we've got the really high bend up here, so we're going to go to the 17th fret of your B string. And then we're going to go to the 19th fret of your high E. We're going to give that a full bend. He's going to pick that a few times and keep bending every time you pick that. And then we're going to settle right at the 19 by itself. Good. Now we have an arpeggio right here. And this is kind of like your, it's technically your E arpeggio. Okay, so we're gonna go from 16 to the high E, to the 17 of the B, to the 16 of the G. Right back to the 17 of the B. And then we're gonna, we're gonna uh, slide that to the 19 of the B. Now the last little lick is he's gonna take this and we're gonna go from the 17 of the B, hammer pull from the 17 to the 19 of the B. And we'll play that 17 one more time. And we're gonna slide it down to the 14 of the B. We'll play that 14 one more time. 